The painter hitch. Today's little knotting exercise, very short little knotting exercise as well today, is we're going to do the painter hitch. Now, I love this little knot. I've only recently discovered it and I thought I'd pass it on to you because it is really quite a nifty little knot. First of all, it's so easy to tie. And secondly, it's even, even easier to untie, which I'll show you in a second. But my understanding is that this particular knot or hitch, as it is, was very much used by, or still is, by sailors and cowboys. And it's also good for securing dog leeches, etc. Um, so if, to be honest, if there's any cowboys or sailors out there, please tell me if you still use the painter hitch, if it's still very much in use today. And my only query is really as to how secure it is. How secure is this particular knot? Um, because if, if say for example, I pull here now, if I just gently pull, I'm just gonna gently pull so you can watch it unfold. But as you watch it unfold, you'll notice that everything can be taken over the top like so, and it's come undone. And so basically, when you undo this particular knot, there's very little chance of it getting caught on anything else when you undo it. Now I understand that they also use, the cowboys use this particular knot for tying up horses, and the beauty of it is if a horse becomes spooked, they can quickly untie this particular knot. Um, so yeah, do tell me about that if, if you use this knot at all and as to how secure this knot is. Okay, let's now get on and tie the painter hitch. Right, so let's get on and tie it. So here's my working end here, and this is my standing end going to my horse or my boat or whatever you're actually securing. So to tie this knot, so simple, absolutely, I love it, it's a dream. You basically form a bite in the rope like so and drop it over the object that you're gonna tie it to. You then pull it through like so and then basically, as it comes through, you get your fingers through and this is my working end here, this is my standing end and you get hold of the standing end like so and pull it through to form a loop at this end. So there's another bite there. So now that we've done that, we then take this one, form a loop here or a bite, and pass it through that bite there, and then just go around and tighten it all up. And there we have it. We have our painter hitch. And I'll just pull up on that really tight. There we go. And now that is, that is secure. That's really secure. But this is where my question lies in. I've been playing with this and if I've got a slippery rope, it tends to just slip a little bit more than I would like it to. But, just as a thought, but it takes away the quick release version, if I tuck my working end now through there, there and that locks it, then it just gives me a little bit of extra security. But once again, to undo this knot, this is the beauty of it. Just pull here and it all comes undone and comes off over the top like so. So let me show you that again. So here's my working end going round to my standing end. So basically we form a bite here and let it drop over the object that we are going to secure it to. Go round, pull that through like so, then put your fingers through there, grab the standing end, which is this line here, and form another bite in there like so. And then just gently tension up with your working end on that, just to, just to pull it down tighter. It just makes it a little bit easier at the end. And then form another bite in my working end here and pass it through that bite there, pull it all up tight, and there you go. We now have our painter hitch in place. And so, ooh, horse is spooked, yeah! That was a good impression of a horse. And the horse is spooked, we just pull on that and he can then be unspooked if you unspook a horse. I don't know. But the other thing is, with regards to this knot, if you have a ring, easily tied on a ring exactly the same way. So basically, there's my working end, my standing end, here is this one here, and all I do is once again, go like so, form a bite, put it through the ring. 
now that it's going through the ring, there's that's my stand. That, sorry, that's my working end. That's my standing end. Put my fingers through, pull it through, to create another small loop, or here, or bite there. Then take this one here, my working end, and pass it through that knot there, and then just gently pull up on all the leads till it pulls up tight. And there we go. We have it now secured to a ring. And so, once again, possibly, I don't know, tuck it through there just to make it a little bit secure, more secure so it can't easily be pulled apart. But when you want to release it, just pull on this cord here and look, it just comes straight off like so. It's just a wonderful, wonderful little knot, this one. Okay, so that was doing it that way. Let's show you the underhand way because sometimes you may want to attack it from a different angle. So let me just set this up now for the underhand method. Okay, so last time I showed you going over the bar, this time we're gonna go under the bar. And it's just, just so simple, I love it. It's easy, this one. So basically, we've got our bar there like so. We then take, we've put a bite, there's my working end, that's my standing end leading to my horse or my boat. And so what we do is we create a loop or a bite like so, pass it underneath the bar and just bring it over. Then as we bring it over, we then bring our fingers through like so to create another bite in there. And then with our working end now, we take hold of that and pass it through that one there like so. And then just gently go around and tighten it all up. And there we have it. It's now, we've now secured our horse or our um, boat. And so once again, to undo it, all we do is just quickly pull on this here, just pull it through gently, and there it is. And then as I pull, it all falls off. It's just wonderful, wonderful little knot. So another useful little knot to know. So please, thumbs up, thumbs down if you like this video, whether you liked it or not, especially if you didn't like it, please leave me a comment so I know what to improve in future. Um, and unless you tell me, I don't know, okay? And also, if you like this video, please do share it 